My name is Andy Turpak, and I'm an assistant scoutmaster with Troop 123. And I want to start out by paraphrasing a line from a favorite movie of mine. We were a student once, and young. Bill Glenn and I were here in Galveston in 1977 at Moody College of Marine Science and Maritime Technology. Today it's known as Texas A&M University at Galveston. Bill was one of those guys. He wore the khaki. He was in the license option program. I was in one of the other programs. The school was small back then. We knew each other. We associated with each other. We had classes together. We had labs together. And it was interesting, too, just a couple weeks ago, Bill and I were talking about one of our extracurricular activities when we were here at AM at Galveston, where a lot of us would go up to the Galleria and go ice skating. And then afterwards, we would go to the Farrell's ice cream parlor and have a special treat. Well, there we were. Four short years later, we're graduated. Bill becomes a mariner, becomes a lawyer, becomes a husband, a father. And we move on with our lives. And as Fred just alluded to, our paths did not cross again until almost 30 years later, in 2007, when Bill bought Jackson Opie Elementary School, where I'm the Cub Master for PAC 120, and Bill and Jackson join the PAC. Bill was an Eagle Scout, and he wanted to start Jackson down that trail, and so he did. Jackson's been with the troop now five years. He's very close to becoming that Eagle rank. I think realistically, if he puts his mind to it, he could do that sometime this year if he chooses to. As we go through our lives, a lot of people pass in, you know, some for short periods of time, some for long periods of time. And it's, it's interesting because when you take a look at individuals who you remember and why you remember them for. Let me tell you a couple things that I really enjoyed about Bill. We renewed our friendship. It grew and matured over the last decade or so. We would spend time having philosophical discussions. And sometimes the end route where we ended up at was interesting from where we started at. They always good discussions. Bill had a very good sense of humor, as most of you knew. His wit at times was a little on the bizarre side. But I remember Bill so many times working in, with, with scouts and scouters, and people weren't in their comfort zones. And he was able to pull them there by either telling them a joke or having them tell him a joke. Very rare trait. Bill was a scouter in the Cub Scout program. He was a den leader for each of those ranks. And then when he got into Troop 23, 123, he became an assistant scoutmaster, and then he became a scoutmaster when Donnie Rouse stepped down. And one of the things that we do quite often in the scouting program is sing songs. Sometimes the songs are silly and funny. Sometimes they're serious. And I want to share the first verse of one song with you folks. And for those scouters here who know the song, Scout Vespers, join along with me if you feel up to it. Softly falls the light of day while our campfires fade away. Slightly each scout should ask, have I done my daily task? Have I kept my honor bright? Can I guiltless sleep tonight? Have I done and have I dared in everything to be prepared? That epitomizes Bill Glenn to me in so many different ways. We were around so many different campfires over the last decade. Did he do his daily task? Most certainly. Best will on that score, Mr. Bill. Did I keep my honor right? Honor and integrity. I respected Bill for those things. Can I guiltless sleep at night? Best will, my brother. Have I done and have I dared in everything to be prepared? Oh, certainly, Scoutmaster Glenn, you did that job very well, too. We have a lot of people who pass through our lives. Some of them are acquaintances and are only there for very short periods of time. Some people are friends moving in and out periodically. And then there's a very special, rare commodity of being true, close friends. We don't get a lot of those. And as I look out here today, I see a lot of acquaintances, some friends, and a couple of my very close friends. Things I'll miss about Bill? Well, as I said, that sense of humor is. 
It was, it, was, it was one of those things that was very enjoyable watching Bill and being around. I will miss the scouter, whether it was a scoutmaster with a troop working with the boys here on projects or on Eagle, uh, merit badge projects, but also the scouter working with me with Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, and other scouters. Because Bill had a unique ability when we were training people to share his knowledge and expertise and make them better for the program. I don't have a whole lot of folks I consider to be good close friends. And as our friendship matured over this last decade, Bill definitely fell in that category for me. And what I will say upon closing is, thank you for being my friend. Rest well, my brother. You will be missed and you are loved.